Um, looking at your recent filmography, sort of the past three films you did prior to this were sort of Pirates, Jack and the Giant Slayer, and Sorcerer's Apprentice, which is very fantasy based. Were you looking for something a little more, a little more grounded when this came along? Sorcerer's Apprentice, I just did the voiceover. True. <laughs> and that's all I did because I remember we were doing Pirates, mm. and the guy said, "I like your voice. Can you?" Help? And I said, yeah, I said, you know, and I did the voiceover, but it still didn't help the film doing it. So, no, but big movies, I like, it's, we've been talking about that a lot recently. It's like, you know, they're, they're great to do for your financial health and for whatever, but sometimes they can be very long and, you know, we have, we have a saying that is, um, I do the, you know, they pay me to wait, I do the acting for free. On something like this, it's like you're involved from the beginning and all day and it's, it's more concentrated and more fun to do in a sense. Because on the big movies, it's the, it's the nature of the beast. You're waiting in your room a lot, you know, it's fine, you've got a nice trailer, air conditioning, and you read your book and you watch your films, and then they call you on the set and you dance around with whatever. And, <laughs> There hardly any, nobody has any lines, it's all action and you go back again, 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 again. So it's a different kind of filmmaking, which, uh, and then it's a trip to do a, a film like this, which is, you know, you get on the set and it's all action all day. And I think the kid wrote a great script in this, John Brown, wrote a really good script and Griffiths did a great job directing it. But it all comes from Nick, you know, I mean, Nick had the idea to begin with. And when we went, it's funny, when we went to the premiere of uh, Snow White, that's when he first said, I've got a... I've got a script coming your way. Ron Parfit, Salsa Dancer. I said, sounds good. You had me at Ron. So there you go. <laughs> Very good. Now, obviously, the, the relationship between yourself, your character, and Nick Frost's character is sort of a mentor, yeah. mentee relationship. Who has been your mentor uh, in your career, and how have they helped you through it? I never had one. Am mm -hmm. I a mentor? No, because I was thrown into it too early. I mean, my dad was a footballer. I loved it. I knew I wasn't good enough to be a footballer. I thought, what the hell am I going to do? But it, I had a teacher at school called Leslie Wright, who was a geography teacher who did plays at school. I did two plays at school. And I, it's something about doing it. I always knew when, you would do, when it was acting, it came very easy. Not easy, but you knew what you were doing. And he said, uh, you know, you should try going to drama school. So I auditioned for Rada, got in, and got a film before I left, and left to do a movie early with John Hurt my oldest friend, who I've just done Hercules with. And, um, and that's it. So I was straight in the business when I was uh, like 19 years old, I'm on. So I've been in it for like, you know, 51 years straight, just doing it. And it's, uh, you learn as you go along. I mean, you work with some, I mean, I work with some great actors, you know, from, the, from an early time. Paul Rogers, Richard Burton, Robert Mitchum, whatever people. But, um, so it's, 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 been, it's been a pretty cool trip so far. Now, um, Nick Frost, for this role, had to take up salsa dancing or learn salsa dancing. When, have, has there been any roles that you've done where you've picked up a skill which you wouldn't have otherwise? Um, I think you pick up something every time. You do a, you do a, you dig. I mean, I, you know, I, I've mostly played bad guys, so the skill of murdering people does not come very well. I mean, I'm pretty good with a knife when I was doing Deadwood, but it's funny you should say that. I mean, I think you know, Nick made a, made a rod for his own back in this. I mean, if he hadn't done the training to be a dancer uh, in the movie, we would have been in bad shape. But the minute he started doing it and started busting out his moves, he was great. So, uh, no, I mean, I, you know, depending on what you do, I mean, I do, it's, all about, it's all about smoke and mirrors acting in many ways. I mean, they can talk about, oh, it's reality-based, but in the end, it's convincing people. It's fooling them that you, you know what you're doing. And, you know, some are good at, you know, some of us are good at knowing what we're doing and some of us ain't so good, so. Uh, with Nick Foster's character as well, he, when he was younger, obviously he found what he wanted to do, but as an encounter which he had which sort of changed Well, he him. was bullied, wasn't he? Yeah, bullied out of it by yeah. what... I mean, it's, yeah. a good, it's kind of a moral to the story that, you know, yeah. stick to your guns. No matter what you are, no matter what you are as a kid, if you believe in something, go ahead with it. No, 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 avoid you. Don't be bullied. Don't let people talk you out of it for whatever reason. But he, did, but he discovers it. That's the nice thing about the movie. The moral sort of center of it, at the end of it, he does actually go back to it, and it makes him a better person. Yeah, I mean, you said it then, he, he does go back to it, which, you know, the small story is very good. Is there anything that you maybe regretted when you, uh, when you were younger? Oh, I wish I'd, been, you, I wished I'd been better playing football. Oh, okay. I mean, I loved it. I loved it, yeah. We just were talking about that before, yeah. But I was, my dad was great. My dad was a pro for United, but I, 
Um, on the other hand, my career as a footballer would have stopped about 50 years ago and would have been that, no, about 40 years ago and wouldn't have been that great 40 years ago. <laughs> so maybe I'm better off what I'm doing now. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to see that. That could be interesting. <laughs> uh, you, you well, I got to play a footballer in a movie. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, Yesterday's Hero about 30 years ago. Yeah, I got to play it, so that was nice. And you brought up Hercules earlier. Really looking forward to that. What, what do you think audiences can expect from that? Do you know, I have no idea how it's going to look like. I have really no idea. It's like you don't sometimes on these big movies. You know, you just do them because you've got six cameras most of the time whirring. I mean, and then it's repeated, repeated. And it's all action, a lot of the stuff, you know, there's a lot of CG in it, which is inevitable. It'll look fantastic, I got a feeling, because it's, you know, it's lit by Dante Spinotti, the great cameraman, and Brett Ratner, who seemed to know what he was doing as a director. I mean, he does, he's good. And, uh, and we're, and, and you're making, you're making basically a big movie for kids, because that's important. It's an audience that you want to get young people in to see that. And it's the Thracian Wars. I mean, it's about, you know, it's about one specific episode in Hercules' life. And, um, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thank Thanks, you for your man. time, sir.